everyone, Retro Girls UK back for a brand new video and today uh, video I'm going to be showing you our network collection of DVDs and Blu-rays that we've bought. This is um, just what we've got up to now but we are looking to expand our collection so if you're new to this channel don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe and most importantly don't forget to hit that notification bell. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it! <laughs> showing you all our collection and um, what we currently own up to now at the time of recording I will say we will be including any prices on CX on the screen somewhere um, so I'm going to get into the first one I'm going to go in no particular order so from most of these we've either bought from charity shops or Facebook or all different types of places uh, so you'll see, some have price tackle on some won't. So the first one is A Mind to Kill, the complete first series. I have never watched this before. This does star Philip Maddock and Vivian Wilkins. <laughs> I've never heard of this. Lisa's probably watched some of these. If I'm saying now as Lisa's editing other videos, she might shout out if she hasn't heard of them. So this is a free disc set. Network, they don't um, distribute no more. So oh, these are out of print. You can pick them up quite cheap at CX if you keep an eye out on them. Or either way, you can find some good bargains. The next one is a special edition. I think this is a movie. Um, this is Carve Her Name with Freud starring Virginia McKenna, Paul Schofield and Jack Warner. I don't think we've watched most of these. As you can tell with networks, I do have a number on just there. And we paid £2 for that. Oh, God, I've just dropped the paper out there. And whoever um, owned this before us, they put a sticky note inside it. It says, First scene, 20th of the 8th, 1958, in Peterhead with Margaret and Mum. We kept that in there because it just shows that other people owned it before us. The runtime of this is 113 minutes. With Network, you can get Thunderbirds and Joe 90. Uh, one that Lisa's got, these used to be able to buy in Poundland back in the day, this it is. The Coronation Street, um, three complete Elsie Tanner ep episodes. So these are the old ones. And uh, it's from 1980. No, hang on, no, it's not right. You can buy the Coronation Street DVDs advertised on the back with 10 discs, which stars the 1980 to 1989 episodes. But... This, this disc does include the 1961, 1970 and 1984. Uh, Lisa doesn't watch Curry normal, but she does watch the old Curry's when they come on. And currently she's watching um, EastEnders, the old one. What channel does that come on, Lisa? It comes on the Drama Channel. On the Drama Channel. Lisa's currently watching it up until... What are you on, Lisa? 2004. 2004, where Dirty Den's back. Uh, the next one is another Coronation Street one. This is 1981. Classic eight episodes. Um, so this has got what's his name? Lisa on the front. Ken Barlow. Ken Barlow. I haven't watched uh, Corey for ages. Um, so it does show you all the episodes on the back. And you can buy the complete collection of 1980 to 1989 episodes. The next one, you might notice some of these are actually in. Um, alphabetical order, not all of them, because that's how they're stored on the shelf. The next one is <laughs> Disraeli. Oh, I don't know. Disraeli, however you pronounce it. The complete series is two episodes. It does include the original press release PDF and the image ga ga gallery and the US trailer. I've never watched this, but this is my sort of program because it's set in the like Tudor Victorian times. Um, have you ever watched this, Lisa? 
I've never even heard of it, to be honest with you. Now, this is 253 minutes, and if you've watched any of our previous videos, we've probably picked some on Chow Shop. I can't remember if we've got that much stuff in the collection. The next one is something that I've been wanting. I've seen it for quite a while. This is Escape from Sabir... 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 How do you pronounce that, Lisa? Sabiba. Sabiba, or however Lisa said it. No this idea. has special features, textile material, uh, which is mute, and an image gallery. So this is a few stories that emerged in the Holocaust. So I do like stuff set of war time. This runtime is 142 minutes. We can have a look. This is just, I know we're going to say we haven't watched more series, but it's always good to know what people have because you might see something you might want to buy for your collection. The next one, I think Lisa has watched this before. This is Father, Dear Father, the first series. Most series you can buy in complete sets, but we picked them off when we see them cheap, as you can see. We did pay 50p from a charity shop. This is, it says black and white, but I don't know, but it shows colour on the back, so I'm not 100% sure. Is it all in black and white, Lisa? No. No, at least it's not all in black and white, really. <laughs> Lisa would be the better one, but I thought I'd show suit the shoulder. Even though I don't watch a lot of the same stuff as Lisa, I do. I am interested in them. I might get them a watch one day. Opposites attract and all that. Yeah, these are opposites attract. Mm -hmm. The next one is For the Love of Ada, the first, complete first series starring Irene Handel and Wilfred Pickles. These we did get definitely get from a charity shop. The runtime of this is 150 minutes, but I don't. This is obviously the UK series, but it does look quite decent. If it's any good, we'll buy the rest. That's a good thing, buying just the first series. If you like it, you can buy the rest. If you don't like it, you can get rid of. But the question is, Lisa, behind the scenes, would you get rid of your networks or they're just for the collection if you don't like them? For the collection, if you want these will be putting these back in alphabetical order. The next one is Hard Times, the complete series. This is one of mine. I picked up, I've never watched this, this is about Charles Dickens' great novel. So we paid £2.50 at CEX. And it is one disc, but with these it does show you all the other stuff that you can buy. You can buy South Riding, Thomas and Seven, Upstairs, Downstairs, which I know you can buy as a complete boxer. And I have watched that before, it's quite good. This is rated PG. The next one is, I think it's a movie, I'm not 100% sure. Starring Lee, Lee Van Cleef. I have no idea who any of these are. This is the hard way. This is brand new and sealed. Lisa did get this as a present before. I can't remember when, but we've had it quite a while. It stars John Connor. It's about violence. That's all I know. It's about violence. Come down below. Have you watched this? I sound so terrible doing it. So it's about violence. I have no idea what these are about, but it's always good to show that you don't know everything. Not every person who collects knows everything in the collection. Next one is the complete series of Hot Metal starring Robert Hardy, Jeffrey Palmer. I don't know who any of these are, but Lisa, do you know any of them, Lisa? Uh, the, the one at the front with the glasses. So, Lisa, this is 300 minutes. It's still sealed. It's, so, as Robert Hardy it says in the back, all creatures great and small. So, not bad. I don't know whether we've got these on eBay or whatever. I cannot remember for the life of me. The next one is a series I definitely have watched out of all these. This is Mind Your Language. I remember watching so young you probably think, what the hell are you watching this for? So this is Mind Your Language, all 29 episodes, and it is such an awesome series. I think they should remaster this on Blu-ray or 4K. I think Blu-ray would be just as good. This is 725 minutes. Comment down below. Have you seen this before? I just like it. It's just a really good series. And that's what it looks like. So it is four discs. I like it because it doesn't take up much space. The next one is nearer, near, nearest and dearest. This is, I recognise it, this is a Morrison um, version. We didn't buy it for Morrison, but from Child Shop. So this is the same as like the Coronation Street. This includes a couple of episodes. This is like a teaser to get you to buy the rest of the series. But have you ever watched this? Who remembers buying them back in the day, buying your DVDs from um, Morrison's? I used to buy the Power Rangers, especially SPD, when it used to be in the two for five pounds. And I used to buy all my Doctor Who's in it, but now you can barely even get them at our stores. The next one is something that I think Lisa picked up not uh, a while back. Uh, season one to three um, is four pounds. This is Outside Edge. Um, it says it's a comedy about a bunch of friends. I have no idea what it's about. Lisa, have you watched it? Uh, 
Never even heard of it. it. I, just, I just picked it up because it was a network money. Yeah, as Lisa spoke. The next one, I will come back to you once I stack these back up because we're all toppling and I'll come back to the next lot. So, and we're back to it now. The next one I think I have watched, this is Peak District. This is Series 1. Um, I do remember watching this back in the day. I'm sure it was on ITV. So, uh, this includes eight episodes on this one. Uh, it doesn't say me on this two, which is a bit strange. But it probably says behind there. Have you ever watched this? This was in Star, Star Kevin Watley, which I remember as Simon Shepherd. I do remember watches. I do want to buy the complete set, but we picked this up quite cheap, so I am looking out for the complete set of this. The next one is um, another series called the complete first series called Red Cap. I've got this. This looks like a war series. Uh, this is four discs. I have never watched this before. No idea what year it's from, but as you can see, it's got the number on the side. But um, looking forward to giving it a try. It's runtime is six hundred and fifty minutes. It's always good to put new things in your view. The next one is another series called Sandbags. I have actually watched this. No, Sandbaggers. I watched this back in the day when I was a kid. I know you probably know how you watch this as a kid. Football. These are what the parents used to watch. This is the complete first series. It's a two disc edition. Um, there's not much I can say about it. I can't remember what it's about, but I do remember watching and enjoying it. It says, a sandbag, a small light inside the British Secret Service who takes up anything from assassination to defection. This, I think, gives me like Ultimate Force type of vibes. What you'd call in sort of nowadays. The next series is something we paid 50p for. This used to be on ITV. This is Second Thoughts. Um, this is the complete first series. It stars Linda Bellingham. Um, I will get Lisa to pop on in a second because I need her... Opinion on this DVD, I have a feeling she knows what the next DVD is. I will be back to you in a second. Okay, so I do own Georgia Mildred as well, which is a network, but it's at the top of the shelf and we can't be hard to get it at the moment. But I'll put a picture here of the... Can you tell uh, them why? Because we've had a leak on the ceiling and all the DVDs have got wet. Yeah, we've got a leak on the ceiling. So I've had to put some up there, but I'll put a picture anyway of the uh, Georgia Mildred. But this one is my all-time favourite network box set. Took me ages to get this. And it is, please, sir. It's a comedy about a, a bunch of kids in a school and their teacher, their, and then, like, the head teacher and the cleaner and so on and so on. But this is actually the please, sir, Fen Street Gang and Bola. And I've only just discovered that Bola is part of the please, sir, um era so please so it actually has three series so you've got like the two spin-offs and then please so it's so awesome and you also in this you get the please so movie as well it's got so many discs inside but it's well worth i got this from amazon i think i can't remember how much you paid now about 30 pounds or something no, like I that think I got it was quite cheap. yeah but you can get this from amazon for like 30 pounds or 35 pounds or something like that and the next one is, um, if anyone remembers David Essex, I've got Silver Dream Racer. I think this is a movie. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a movie. It's one disc. Some nice artwork inside there. The next one is Sky, the complete series. I've never actually heard of this before. I don't even know what it's about, if I'm honest with you. But I think it's just the network label that draws me in, to be honest. And this one's sealed as well. Yeah, I've got loads more network. They're just everywhere. But my favourites are up there. George and Mildred and a few others are up there. And some are in storage behind the camera. But the next one, I've got season two of Spitting Image. So I need to get the rest of these Spitting Images. This is so funny. Do you remember Spitting Image, Michelle? Yes. Hilarious. I think it's so cool today. The next one is Talk Radio. Which is a movie. I I only recently bought this, I think. I think it was a good few months ago now that I bought this. But I only paid £4 at CX. Never heard of it, but I will watch it and see what it's like. It's an Oliver Stone movie, apparently. The next one, I've got the first series of Upstairs, Downstairs. I don't remember if I've ever watched this, but I will watch this. See what it's like, and if I like it, then I'm going to get the other series to it. And you get four discs in there. I'm not sure how many series there is to upstairs, downstairs. I think there's only like three or four, something like that. The next one is The War You Don't See. It's, does, 
if that didn't say network at the top, if you didn't notice that, you wouldn't even know this was a network because it doesn't even look like a network. It, I don't even know what it's about. Uh, the war on... I don't even know what it's about, to be honest with you. Never even heard of it. But I think I only paid about a pound or two pounds for that. It wasn't very much. And then I've got... What's this? The Way to the Stars. 99p from a charity shop. It's not very often that we come across networks in a charity shop, but when we do come across them, we will always pick them up for the right price. Okay, next I've got The Rag Trade, the complete series. This one's got Peter Jones and Mariam, Mariam Carlin in. Don't think I've watched this one either, but it's got Olive from On The Buses. So that's actually intrigued me even more, so I'm going to watch this to see what it's like. Because I do enjoy watching her in On The Buses and Aunt Sal as well in EastEnders. Is she dead now? Yeah, she died, uh, I don't know, sometime last year. I can't remember when it was now. And I'm just moving this stuff over. You've messed my order up! I've just messed Michelle's order up. And the next one is, I can't remember if I've done this one, The Widowmaker. No. This one is brand new and sealed. I think Michelle got me this from eBay actually a few months ago. And it does look quite good. So it's brand new and sealed. And then I've got a couple of network Blu-rays. So first one is Wilt. Don't think I've ever seen this one. This one's got some special features. I can't remember where I bought this one from. I bought it from eBay. Was it eBay? But it's got some nice artwork on the disc. It's got some nice artwork as well on the cover. And it's got a little leaflet inside. Next one, I'm pretty sure that I got this on CX Weekend at Bernie's. I love this one. You can get a number two as well, but I think number two is more rare than the first one. And you get some nice artwork on the disc as well. And the special features, you've got trailer and TV spots. It's in a slim case, isn't it? Yeah. That's a good thing, actually, with networks. That most of them do come in the slim case. Okay. I've got Undercover for £2.50 at CX. I got this from the CX in Chelmsford. They had at least six copies of these in store. And then, of course, Please Sir Movie. Love the movie. So I've got this twice now, Blue from and Blackpool and DVD. So yeah, got this from Blackpool in um, H and V. I think it was. I went hunting all over the H and V stores just looking for this. You're covered. She's currently bidding on. Um, Bless his house. I'm there. Help you with it. Yeah. Because what's the time now? Half five. So yeah, the bid ends on Bless his house at half seven, I think, tonight. And I'm the highest bidder so far. So hopefully I'll win it. This one was either a Christmas present or a birthday present of uh, Michelle's parents. And it is Hammer House of Horror, complete season, brand new and sealed. Who bought you? Who bought it? I bought it. Was it you? <laughs> yeah. At least someone bought it me. And I still haven't watched it yet, but I will get round to it because... Oh God, I apologise everyone. <laughs> And I will get around to watch it because I do love uh, Hammer House of Horror. It's basically just like short stories of different characters. It's really good. Blue Money, Tim Curry. When I saw this in CX... Home Alone. When I saw this in CX, I just had to pick it up. I've never even watched this before, but Tim Curry's in it. It was a cheap network and I could not pass that, pass that down. Then last but not least, Blonde Fist, £2.50. Is that uh, Sharon Stone? Is that Sharon Stone? I think so. No idea. But it looks like Sharon Stone. Some nice artwork on the disc. And that is all the networks that I have. And I think Michelle's trying to come into the camera. Okay. So we just want to say to everyone, thank you so much for watching. You studied because you're shorter than me. <laughs> yeah, so I say thank you so much for watching. Uh, we will put in the comments the Coronation Street short that we did a while back um because they're in storage because they got really wet the outer case so i need to get some replacements so i'll pin that in the comments so please check that out um we're not doing reviews just so you can see what we, what we actually got for a good deal so i'm gonna say thank you ever so much for watching yes we haven't watched most of them comment down below is there one that you could suggest us watching first that have 
the whole lot of the network it would be good for have some input if you want to to let us know and we're watching and we'll tell you what we think of it on the community post if we liked it or didn't like it yeah so we hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit that like button hit that subscribe button comment and share don't forget to join us on all our social media accounts all the links are down below so stay safe and keep on hunting <laughs>